welcome everybody <coughs> we'll start with our discussion on lecture 2 <coughs> the lecture 2 is self exploration as the process of value education yeah. so yeah. i'm sharing slides from here yeah can we start with the heading okay so in lecture 2 we are briefly going to talk about the key points on the self exploration as the process of value education <clears throat> so we have been talking about the need the content the guidelines and the process of value education and in continuation with that we are talking about the process of value education the self exploration as the process of value education in little more detail so if we look at the key points about this process number one we are saying that whatever we are saying here is a proposal you don't have to assume it to be true or false but you have to verify it on your own right and one of the simplest way of going about uh, is that verify it on the basis of your natural acceptance so this is something which is very simple to begin with of course it looks you know quite difficult uh, in the in the beginning for the reasons that we will uh, see when we discuss about this frequently asked questions uh, we don't seem to be very uh, confident about this natural acceptance that we have in us but as we start referring to it as we start working on it we will see that it is there it is there as an innate part of our being <clears throat> and if only we start paying attention to it we are able to see this natural acceptance in us and that can be the basis of our self verification so what we are saying is that whatever is being said here take it as a proposal do not assume it to be true or false verify it verify it on your own right and one of the basis of this verification can be natural acceptance so this is one important thing that we are saying second thing we are saying is that as we proceed we will proceed in the form of a dialogue and not a monologue <laughs> and this dialogue will start <coughs> between me and you to begin with <coughs> but soon it will become a dialogue within your own self soon it will become a dialogue within your own self so interestingly this question that or the proposal that we are making here and which we are asking you to verify on the basis of your natural acceptance that you will start doing for yourself right so all the questions that you have in your mind you will start posing those questions to your own natural acceptance and start getting the answer from there and what we are saying is that the purpose of this workshop is essentially to initiate to strengthen this process of internal dialogue so if you look at that dialogue within this is how it looks like 
it's a dialogue between what I really want to be, what is my natural acceptance, what is my intention, and what I am, my desire, my thought, my expectation, and that is my competence. So this is basically initiating this dialogue between what I really want to be and what I am, between my natural acceptance and the desire, thought, and expectation that I have. For example, when we look at this, you know, whether we have natural acceptance for relationship or for feeling of opposition, right? you can ask yourself and you find that we always have the acceptance for feeling of relationship and not for opposition. However, if you look at our state of being, you know, what you are, what is your desire, thought, and expectation? You will find that many times we are thinking of feeling of relationship, and many times we are thinking of opposition. While natural acceptance is always for relationship, our imagination is going on the basis of feeling of relationship sometimes and feeling of opposition sometimes. So as far as my natural acceptance is concerned, there is a definiteness. But when it comes to my state of being, my desire, thought, and expectation, what I am, sometime I'm thinking on the basis of feeling of relationship, sometime on the basis of feeling of opposition. Which means that there is lack of this internal dialogue internal dialogue between the natural acceptance and the desire, the thought, the expectation that we have. So my imagination is not going all the time as per my natural acceptance. So this is one observation. Right? The second observation is that when there is you know, harmony between what I am and what is naturally acceptable to me. That is when I'm thinking of relationship, which is naturally acceptable to me, then there is a harmony within. And when there is harmony within, I'm in a state of happiness within. So when my imagination, my desires, my feelings is in line with my natural acceptance, then I'm in a state of harmony within and a state of happiness within. On the other hand, if I'm thinking of opposition, and this feeling of opposition is not naturally acceptable to me, then there is a contradiction within. And this contradiction leads to a state of unhappiness within. So we can see that our happiness or unhappiness has to do with what I am, what is my feeling, what is my desire, what is my thought, what is my expectation at this moment, and whether this is in line with my natural acceptance or not in line with my natural acceptance. So as long as it is in line with my natural acceptance, I'm in a state of harmony and happiness. The moment it becomes something which is not in line with my natural acceptance, I'm in a state of contradiction within, and therefore I'm in a state of unhappiness within. So now if you look at the whole thing, what it indicates that as long as I'm able to ensure that my feeling is in line with my natural acceptance, I'm in a state of harmony and happiness. That is the way to ensure a state of happiness, a state of harmony within. So we need to initiate this dialogue within, between the natural acceptance and what I am. And if I can do that, I can ensure harmony within and happiness within. 
so in order to do this number one we have to discover our natural acceptance that is where we want to be right where we want to reach then we have to evaluate as to where i am so we have to find out what i am where we are now what is our feeling what is our thought at this moment and then ultimately we have to ensure this dialogue between the two right and ensure the harmony within that is evaluate our desire our feeling at this moment and then see whether it is in line with our natural acceptance right if it is in line with our natural acceptance we continue with that feeling if it is not in line with our natural acceptance then we make sure that the next moment the feeling i have is in line with our natural acceptance and not otherwise so this establishing this dialogue between our natural acceptance and the feeling that we have at this moment is what is the purpose of initiating this dialogue strengthening this dialogue and ultimately establishing this dialogue in continuity if we can do that we can be in a state of harmony within a state of happiness within every moment in continuity so when we talk about this exercise 1 and exercise 2 where we are trying to look into our own self and try to understand this self evaluate this self and set it in harmony we will extensively work on this but this is the idea the idea is to initiate this dialogue within and strengthen it right and ensure the continuity of it by way of looking at our own natural acceptance discovering that natural acceptance then being aware of our state of being in terms of our feeling or desire and ultimately evaluate that feeling that desire whether it is in line with natural acceptance or not and ultimately ensure that this feeling this desire that i have at this moment is in line with our natural acceptance so this whole process of self exploration self investigation is essentially initiating strengthening and ensuring the continuity of this dialogue within <clears throat> so with this background if we look at this process of self exploration self investigation there are two parts to it number one is content of self exploration and number two is the process of self exploration so if we look at the content of self exploration basically we are exploring into these two basic things one is the desire the aim the objective the purpose right so we are exploring our desire our aim our objective our purpose that is what do i want to achieve and second is about the program the process of achieving this basic desire you know this basic you know <clears throat> purpose so what is going to be the action how do i achieve it so these are the two major questions concerning our life one is to decide the purpose and second is to decide the program to fulfill that purpose and the outcome of this ultimately turns out to be that as a human being we desire for happiness prosperity and its continuity this we will explore as we go on but in essence is the content of self exploration our desire and our program for the fulfillment of that basic desire that basic purpose the second part is this process of self exploration so how do we go about you know doing this self exploration we had very you know very briefly said that whatever is stated is a proposal take it as a proposal do not assume it to be true or false verify it on your own right and one of the simplest way to verify is to check with your own natural acceptance so this is part a and if you look at this whole process of self verification 
this is how it looks so given the proposal number 1 we verify it on the basis of your natural acceptance so this is the first part so essentially there are two parts to this process of self verification part 1 is i am verifying it on the basis of my natural acceptance right similarly you can verify it on the basis of your natural acceptance so if something which is said in this proposal is naturally acceptable to you then it is a right proposal otherwise it is not a right proposal so for example if i say that in uh, you know our uh, <clears throat> interacting with the human being it is the feeling of respect which is naturally acceptable or in general <clears throat> you know what is uh, whether this feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition so if i say that this feeling of relationship is natural in human human relationship then this proposal can be verified you can ask your natural acceptance that in human human relationship what will be naturally acceptable to you the feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition similarly in relationship what will be naturally acceptable to you feeling of respect or feeling of disrespect so like that i can ask this question to myself to my natural acceptance and get the answer and this is the most significant part of this process of self verification the second part to is this experiential validation that if it is naturally acceptable to me and if it is right for me then i verify it in my experiential you know living with it so if i behave with human being on the basis of this proposal then does it lead to mutual happiness if it leads to mutual happiness it is a right proposal if it does not lead to mutual happiness it is not a right proposal similarly if i am working with the rest of nature on the basis of this proposal then does it lead to mutual prosperity that is does it lead to my prosperity as a human being and does it lead to the prosperity of the rest of nature so if it leads to mutual happiness mutual prosperity then i can experientially say that yes this is a right proposal so these are two you know part of my process of self verification self exploration through which i can decide whether a given proposal is right for me or is not right for me and on the basis of this self verification what i get is the right understanding what i get out of this is the right understanding so this is a very simple but very useful process of self verification which each one of us can uh, apply and we all have this natural acceptance there in us as an inner part of our being so we don't have to search it anywhere in the book or outside but we have to start looking within and when we start looking within and start asking this question to ourselves to our natural acceptance we get the answers so we'll see this as we go further now the question is which process is naturally acceptable to you? a process of self exploration self verification on your own right leading to understanding in yourself or a process of you know accepting do's and don'ts right and taking it as given so what will be naturally acceptable to you this is something which you can verify whether you want to verify things on your own right or you want to take things as given 
as a belief, as a preconditioning, right, without self verification. So, of course, we will uh, like to uh, verify things on our own. Right. So, this is what we are going to go, do all through this course. Whatever is stated in this course, we'll take it as a proposal and verify it on our own through this process of self-exploration, this process of self-verification. So this is in a sense, what is the process of self-exploration? But as we take up the questions, you know, it will be clarified further. Uh, 